Not long ago, I suffered a very violent attack on the job by a patient. Uh, this patient jumped out of bed, attacked an elderly patient by headbutting her in the head, and then attempted to attack two other patients. My coworkers and I alerted management long ago that an incident like this was just a matter of time. Today I've come to deliver to you over 3,000 uh, petitions signed by the county's frontline workers. We don't have enough staff, we don't have enough resources. Uh, because of the safety issues at our clinic, a lot of staff doesn't want to work there anymore, so it's impacting the community greatly because we can't provide them the services they need in a timely fashion. They could hurt themselves, they could hurt someone else. There's a huge impact that can, that can occur because of that. Stop now! I went into nursing to help people not to be attacked at work. We're still waiting for security to be present in ER. If something happens, we have to call the operator for assistance, which takes a while to get a deputy to us, so we have to count on each other to step in when someone's being attacked. Now Riverside County nurses have to take safety measures into their own hands. Throughout facilities in Riverside County, our members consistently worry that they're next. After their colleagues got attacked, workers wanted basic safety protections. I don't feel safe because we shouldn't have to go to those extremes. We're here for the patients, patient care only, not to worry about our safety. Riverside County managers took action, but not the kind of action that would make their workers safe. Instead, they added insult to literal injury. Management threatened workers with up to one year in prison for protecting themselves on the job by bringing pepper spray. They did this even though the Riverside County Board of Supervisors already authorized employees to carry pepper spray. For over a year, we've been asking management for these protections, but we continue to be ignored. After we've showed everyone in Riverside County just how serious we are about feeling safe on the job, they are threatening us with termination and up to one year in jail. It's not right. This is not what a good employer does to their employees. When an employee is bringing a specific security concern to your about what could happen to a patient, their family, and staff. A good employer should take action from anything happening. When I went and talked before the Board of Supervisors, I went through metal detectors. I counted seven deputies in that room with the Board of Supervisors, and we don't get any of that. Instead, they continue to drag their feet and do nothing about it. You can understand why the need for safety is so, it's, it's paramount, it's at the top. We need to take care of the people that take care of the people. It's our turn to make sure that they have what they need to be able to do their job to the best of their abilities and not live in fear of threat of violence within the workplace. So we're just asking the Board of Soups to, to come back to the table and, and be able to negotiate and bargain for a fair solution that, a fair solution for all. Enough is enough. It's time for management to do the right thing and come back to the bargaining tables for the safety of the nurses, for the safety of the patients, and for the safety of everyone in Riverside County. When we fight, we win. When we fight, we win.